Eclipse, the Eclipse grind right here. Only made it to Eclipse 2 because we just started pretty recently, but we'll, we'll get there. Okay, we'll get there. We'll get there, all right. Um, I forgot that... I totally forgot that uh, Bandit has an alternate has an alternate primary. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it to use because you're going to be like up close and personal at every point in time. But if you could swap off, like if you could if you could swap them, that would be pretty good. But uh, I don't think they're going to do that. That would be a pretty decent buff. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe they just need to make the other one a little bit better. Oh, this is going to... Yeah, that's going to pop. Oh, I think I landed even faster because of it. All right, I'm just going to try to grease this shit up here. And get as many Desperado stacks as possible for no reason. Well, I don't really need it them too much at the first stage, but you never know. I, every little bit counts, okay? Maybe... God damn it, dude. These motherfuckers employ evasive maneuvers. This is what I'm talking about. Once we get to, like, Eclipse 5, when they, like, get double movement speed, you'd be surprised, okay? You'd be fucking surprised. They, they can go off. They can do some crazy shit for no reason. That should be it. There we go. Alright, there was another chest down there. I think I will wrap around. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. And there's another one over here. The thing is, the items are fucking dry on the first stage. You barely get anything. Eh, that's not really too good. That's pretty good, though. Ah, okay. Well, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot to get the, the nutty fucking... The nutty jump shot. It was worth it, I would say. To at least try, you know? There's no way I would have I would have known I would have missed it if I never went for it. Okay, well, we're getting, we're getting items that are... What the fuck? What the fuck? There's a chest underneath the fucking ground? Okay. Well, that's fucking unfortunate. I'm just never going to be able to hit that, apparently. Interesting. Maybe I can buy it. I don't know what, what's going to happen to the item, but... Oh, okay. We almost had enough to fully kill that guy in one hit. Um, there's another item over here. We're getting items, just not good ones. <laughs> For, we're getting something, but it ain't. They're not really that good for me. I'm gonna be honest with you. That one isn't too bad. I'll take that. You do. I mean, you do just want damage to like everything, but I'll take extra damage to bosses as well. We're gonna be killing a lot of bosses as we go along our our path, our route. I wish he didn't like completely go out to the opposite side here. Would have been cool if I could actually like charge the charge the teleporter right now, but whatever. Is that a loop? No, it's a band. Not bad. I would have liked the other one, because the other one uh, is much better for AoE. And that's like the one thing we kind of need. We already got enough single target, I feel. But, you know, you know, it's it's good every once in a while. I'll take it. It'll it'll help out. Oh, holy shit, dude. They went like ghost mode. You can't see the particle effects around them if you go into the water. That was fucking scary. Yeah, there's like, I think I saw like one chest, and that's probably about it. Well, I can see a little bit over here. What is that? It's a turret? That's probably... Oh, that is a chest. Okay. Okay, we got like two that we can go for. You really gotta fucking... You really gotta find everything on this first stage, though. Believe me. Because they don't give you... They don't give you much. They don't give you much. They really do not give you too much at all. So I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try to be grabbing as much as possible here. Believe me. Because I need... I need every little... Every little bit I can get... Five items, we're gonna get like hopefully six or seven on this stage, which is pretty good. Much better than uh much better than we normally get. I'm surprised we actually got this much. We have a decent amount of money too, because we killed that one uh, elite guy. There was a utility chest in the ground, that would have been good to get, but I don't think I'm gonna get that. Why do they have that little like uh why do they have that little I thought that was the crowbar effect. No, that's the stun again effect. That's the stun grenade effect. Yeah, there's like a little like yellow fucking orb that appears from them. And I didn't know what the fuck that was. I thought that was the crowbar because it was always happening at max HP, but it's not. It's a uh, stun grenade. Yeah, there we go. You see that? That was stun grenade. So it has an effect now. It has a visible effect. Interesting, interesting. That's good to know. Good to know. So I know when my stun grenade is actually working. It doesn't seem to happen as bad as it used to be. It's not as bad as it used to be before. Or maybe it's because I can notice it now, but it seemed to be much worse before. There's another chest over here. They must have buffed this shit. I don't remember getting this much on the first stage. Grab it as we go. Ooh, that is, that is a good pickup. The last, like, four items have been really good. First couple weren't really that good. I'm gonna be honest with you. They were pretty fucking shit, but now we're now we're hitting our stride. We're hitting our stride and getting all the items we need. Um, this is really far away. We're gonna take a really long time on this stage, but... It's worth it if we get some good items. Eh. I mean... If we go behind an enemy... And we crowbar Reynolds band them with like a fucking 10, 20 stack Desperado. 
Maybe that just insta kills him. Maybe that just insta kills him. Actually, I don't know if it works like that because I think the Desperado hits and then the Reynolds Bands hits. So I think that would not count as like one big chunk of uh, of damage there, unfortunately. So I don't think that would really be too too profitable or too good of a strategy. But we're gonna be doing a lot of damage from full health. That's all. That's all you need to know. Okay. That's all you need to fucking know. Now we just need some AOE and some healing. We we really need healing. Uh, we need mobility as well, but we have at least a little bit. At least a at least a tad bit a spoonful of mobility, so I'm not I'm not incredibly worried about it. We have like a small amount which should hold us over for the moment. If we just get a little bit trickling in every now and again, we should be good. Um if we get a scrapper that'd be good as well. Ooh, that's expensive. Holy shit, I spent way too long in that first stage. Like an absurd amount of time. Things are sixty now. I like never have this happen to me. That is a tougher times printer. I would like to print a few tougher times. Chrono Bobble, not going to help out like at all right now. <laughs> I would like to use that, but again, we have no fucking healing. We really need a healing item, because look, I just have nothing. There's nothing to help me here. I'm just on my own. Um, I don't think I'm going to go for crit. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go grab that. If I, if I was going to grab anything there, it would be that. Because I need some extra mobility. But this is fucking unfortunate. I have no healing. I have no way of just not getting completely fucked up. I mean, I'm going to go into this, I'm going to go into the boss fight already damaged and there's nothing I can do about it. Probably another one. No, I doubt one alone just spawned, but I guess, fuck it, I guess it did. Alright, let me test out my strategy here. Uh, what's he going to do first? Alright, looks pretty fine. There we go, that did a pretty good amount of damage, that was pretty solid. That wasn't too bad at all. Oh, holy shit, oh! Okay, Neural, that's something, that's a little bit of healing. It's, it's something, okay, it's something. It's boosted. It's boosted regeneration. I'll take three stacks of fucking of, of fucking damage over time. Fire, dude! Holy shit! Calm the fuck down. Didn't have to come out with all that. Oh, the focus crystal will help with the shift. So I guess that is like a little bit of a buff to the AOA. But I mean, it's not much. Yeah, I mean that was decent. I mean with the crowbar, that's actually pretty pretty solid. Like I could probably do this. Yeah, there we go. And that just insta kills those. At least for the moment. Maybe it'll it'll get weaker the farther on we go. We didn't get a single beetle guard here though, which is surprising, especially since um the difficulty increased. Weird. I wonder if the difficulty in works inversely. Like if you take if you take uh, if you take longer, maybe the game thinks you're worse. <laughs> That's not how it works at all. But I would like to think that there's some factor for me having a, a little bit of an easy time here. I shouldn't fucking. <laughs> I shouldn't be counting on that. There we go. I shouldn't be counting on this right now, though, because I'm almost certainly going to get fucked up eventually. In fact, sooner, probably sooner than later. Um, can I see a little bit of anything here? I see another something over there. I think that's just a printer. Sticky bomb printer. Again, I would like to print a few sticky bombs. I mean, that's just extra damage. I really just need mobility or healing. If there was anything like that. There's like... The problem with healing is that there's no really good, like, white healing item for some reason. I guess those just aren't allowed to exist in this game. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a play here. I'm going to walk back. And since everything should be like mostly dead, I'm going to go ahead and hit this. Get a little bit of extra. I'm already full health. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, this Neural is going off. Going the fuck off. I wonder if it continues to regen like more and more. This shouldn't fall down, right? No. I think they removed that from the game. I don't think things can fall down like that anymore. Or I hope they can't. Ugh. I don't want to die to this guy. <laughs> I don't want to die all the way at the end after I've already beaten the stage. And there's a chance right over here. Okay. We could finesse a little bit of extra itemage out of the stage. Could milk a little bit more out. A hey, nice. Second try. Oh, lucky as hell. Oh, lucky. Lucky as hell. Jesus Christ. We're fucking popping off right now. We're getting so many items for these two stages. I'm I'm milking the fuck out of this. We'll see how well we do. Because I'm taking a little bit longer, but I'm... I'm really milking like every last drop of fucking items out of the stage. And they're not all good, but they're at least something. Let's see. If I could grab like, there's a multi shop over there, right? Yeah, if I could grab like one more item. Is that a, oh, that's a crowbar. If that was a bleed, that would be really good. If that was a tri tip. I might just go for another med kit. If that is what that is over there. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go for another med kit. We need more healing, and this fills the role pretty well. I'll take it. We've got a good amount of items, like a really good amount of items. Normally you don't get anywhere near this much, uh, this many items past the fucking first and second stage. We got, I feel like we got really lucky, or maybe they just increased the drop chance for items. There was a large chest right there. 
Uh, that's probably also why I don't have enough items. I usually always buy every large chest I see, so it's probably good that I didn't do that. We could get a prion if it's like literally right there. Maybe? No, it's not. It's right over there. Go! Holy shit! We can get to it! We can fucking get- No, we're not. We're not. No. That was tragic. If I immediately course corrected, which I wouldn't have been able to know, I don't know how I would have just known that that wasn't there. But if I just somehow knew, also that guy, these things have a mind of their own. I swear to God, these imps are like literally fucking clairvoyant. Um, meat, repulsion plate, and a fucking whatever the fuck that whole thing was. Backup mag. Backup mag is pretty good. Backup mag is pretty damn solid, if I do say so myself. I think I'll grab that. A repulsion plate might just be good, though, to like stop me from getting fucked up by everything. But I think we go for backup mag. Eh, I mean, maybe, I think we go for, I think we go for this, actually. Because backup mag, I was thinking of going for a backup mag, but like, we need m many more backup mags to actually do something. We're not really doing too much of anything right now without it. Oosh, there we go, I think that did count. We're, I'm really good at stacking Desperado shit now. I've gotten a lot better at playing Bandit. Probably because I've been playing him so much, but he's a fun character, I like to play him. Can't really blame me. Syringe printer. Again, we get a scrapper and all of our fucking problems just melt away. We found a, a few good printers and I would really like to scrap some of these items. But maybe we just keep the shit items. Because I think they're helping me through this a little bit. Helping me more than you would think. And that's a goat hoof over there. That's nice. Dune strider. Alright, the play here is to go behind him. Like that. Oh, fuck. I don't think that was a crit from behind. We wait for him to go up in the air. Oh, he's definitely not going to go up in the air now. Oh, he is at the perfect time. There we go. That couldn't have couldn't have gone much better than that. Um, red whip is not really not really what I was looking for here. I mean, again, I just need to I just need to scrap it really. I just need to scrap it. I mean, it'll help out with like certain things like running at the start of stages, running at the beginning of the mythic stage, but that's like really about it. I feel. Other than that, it's not really that much, not really that good of a of an item there. We're fucking dispatching these enemies pretty fast. It's fucking difficult though. This character can be really good. Like when it's really, like when you're playing on point, you're just fucking demolishing everything. Because you can crit like 100% of the time. Or at least in the at the beginning, right? Because like later on, every character has like 100% crit. So Bandit, I feel really only get, does well right at the beginning. Because later on, every character is going to have like max crit anyway. So... You're, you're basically your whole fucking thing that makes the character good is kind of just terrible. <laughs> it's just every other character has it at the same point. Um, I don't like these adaptive chests. Theoretically, they're good, but I never, I never get lucky with them. Or I guess you're not supposed to get lucky, but like, it's just, it's literally unreactable to do. Maybe if you're like insane, you can like, because you don't even know what item you're going for most of the time. Like maybe if you need one specific item, really, the only thing you can really pay attention to is the color. And even then, like, orange and red are so similar. A lot of the time, you'll get, like, a fucking a clover will pass by, and you'll just, you, you just won't even fucking click it. Because you can't identify, oh, that's a, that's a good item that I should be picking up right now. Let me go ahead and pick that up, because you just don't even fucking know. So, that being said, though, I'm going to go ahead and hit that fucking adaptive chest. Why not? I'm just going to be looking for a green item. That's all I do. I just look for a green, and then I press it if I see a green. That was a fucking meat hook. What was that? Hey, I'll take it. Uh, yeah, you see, I literally, <laughs> I literally got passed up. I passed up a fucking meat hook, which is a uh, a good item, to say the least. Well, at least for, at least for like playing the game. If you're going for a really long like looping run. Oh, there we go. There is a scrapper. Um. Now this is interesting. This is really interesting. I don't know what I'm going to go ahead and press. I definitely am going to get rid of these fireworks. That's what I'm going to do. Um, probably get rid of stun grenade too. I don't know what I'm going to scrap. I could scrap more syringes. Uh, or I could go for tougher times. It's odd. I don't know what I'm going to do. There's a little fucking piece of the shell here. Um, do I really need to scrap any like green items? I think I'll keep all my green items to be honest with you. Why not? Don't need a focus crystal too much. Might scrap that. Um, other than that, I think I'm good on mostly everything else. I mean, I could scrap like med kits and shit, but I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Could scrap like chrono bubble, but whatever. Um, I think I'm just gonna go all tougher times, honestly. 
Five tougher times might be good. Because I have no healing right now. We need some sort of other survivability. I mean, these do, there are diminishing returns the more tougher times you get, but this will be good. Because, like, if you get to five, it's not like I have 50% fucking block chance. I think it is pretty decently high, though. It's like maybe 45. If I'm lucky. Probably like 30, 35, I would say. 36 maybe, or 37. Because it's like logarithmic or some fucking nerd shit that I don't know. But something like that. Something like that. So, we should be pretty close to, uh... Oh, and we get a Siren's Call. Big man, big man with the Siren's Call. Uh, didn't even work. <laughs> didn't even fucking get the Desperado stack off that thing. This guy's really close and he's gonna follow me around forever, so I need to... There's a fucking thing in here? Was there a... I think there was a thing. <gasps> okay. I forgot. We're not on... We're not on Eclipse, like, 12 yet. So, falling down isn't, like, absolute instant death, but... Sure as hell don't want to be down here, I can tell you that much. Alright, this is fucking terrible. I don't want to be here. There's a scrapper, though. Interesting. I totally forgot about the tougher times already. That was pretty good. I think I just blocked, like, half the shit that was about to kill me there. I'm saving this enemy. Alright, we did a pretty good amount of damage to this guy somehow. Oosh! Oh, how the fuck did that not activate? Oh, I think I did something incredibly smart. I think I hit with the with the fucking desperado shit and then afterwards it procced a it procced an ATG and the ATG procced the uh, the Reynolds band. There was no way for me to have known that, but that was fucking sick. I don't have a lot of money. Predatory instincts is insane. Um is this the good one? That's another Reynolds. Maybe I go for it. Maybe. We'll see. That doesn't even insta kill them? God damn. God damn I am weak. Alright, we need to deal with some of these fucking things here, too. Holy shit, okay, that guy got fucked up. These Reynolds, these Reynolds bands are, are pretty good, pretty pretty good. Popping off basically saving me half the fucking time from these enemies, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> pretty, pretty fucking, pretty solid item, to say the least. I want the money from that one. I'm doing really good at, like, just cleaning up a fuck ton of enemies. There's another scrapper over here. Hopefully scrappers don't take item slots, otherwise I'm not going to have like any fucking items on this stage. We did get a free blue portal too, which I probably will not buy anything from, but we can go in there. Check the wares, you know. Why not? Unless there's like uh, some other shit I need. I'll grab this, why not? And then I'll hit a mountain too. Getting a little bit ballsy with this shit, but you know. You have to fucking, you have to go a little bit crazy if you want to run to succeed. Even though this run is already pretty good. Let's see, is there really? Damn, we got really unlucky. I can almost guarantee all the fucking egg things are on the other side of the map. There we go, there's one. I think that's our, honestly our first one. That's our first egg. Oh, there's another one up here. I can even, can I even get up here? I need a fucking Hobu Feather so bad. Like, really, really fucking bad, and I don't think I'm gonna get one, unfortunately. Oh, never mind, that was like my fucking fifth somehow. Mm, all right, probably, probably, okay, another scrapper, holy shit. Yeah, there we go, one all the way over there. All right, anything? Oh, there's another mountain. Fuck it, why not? I have no healing, this is a terrible idea, but... Hey, sometimes you gotta, you gotta make the plays. I'm gonna grab another Reynolds band over here, though, real quick. Fuck, he hit, like, the ceiling and moved, moved away. Oh, I need to hit this here. I need to kill him, otherwise he's gonna absolutely fucking terrorize me. Alright, we're doing a good amount of damage here with the Desperado, with the Band. We have a good amount of stacks. Okay, that's terrible. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna get behind this guy, like that. There we go. Decent amount of damage. And we get, we should get like all of our, all of our shit back pretty, pretty fast with, uh, Predatory Instincts. Should have all four of our shots back in, in decent, in decent working order pretty fast. I'm literally just saying buzzwords constantly. <laughs> Yeah, we're doing we're doing it fast, fast, pretty fast. You know, it, it, it fast. I need to be critting from the back though, if I want to get the max. I'm gonna get. No, nope, I guess I'm not. Those sometimes those hitboxes are so weird. Like that thing should have hit me. That thing should have fucking completely ate me out, and it just didn't. This guy really just does not want me to get behind him though. Like this is the one enemy in the game. I've said it before. I'll say it again. One enemy in the game that just never wants you to fucking see its back. Like, at every point in time, this guy just never allows you to fucking see his backside. 
There we go. Okay, I don't know how neither, none of those proc the band, but all right. Holy shit. There's a lot of fucking elite enemies over there. All right, what do we got? Frost Relic? Okay. Frost Relic, if you don't know, is uh, what we refer to in the business as terrible. Pretty shit. Pretty fucking shit, to be honest with you. But you get like this cool zoomed out view for a little bit. Alright, well, I guess I'll just attack a few more of these. Could be worse, could be worse, could be could be much worse. Ooh, it is worse. <laughs> Holy shit. At least we have, like, a little bit of AoE for these, like, shit mobs around us. Frost Relic, honestly, not too bad for Bandit if I was doing a normal run. But since I'm going to Mythrix, not really too good. Oh, I just have no healing, though. Like, I think my only healing is Medkit. And I guess I have some survivability from tougher times. And I think that's honestly about it. We're doing a lot of damage, though, somehow. We just killed a fucking double mountain. Or, I shouldn't fucking talk before I'm done, but we're about to kill a double mountain. Jesus Christ. Those guys were fucking holding out to the very fucking end. What is this? Oh, that's the empty co empathy core thing. Holy shit. Okay, I don't know if I should have gotten this. Oh, okay. That, oh, oh, these are both mine. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, I don't know. Oh, thank God I have fucking Daisy. Thank God I have Daisy. Um, I don't know how good this thing is. I don't know. Maybe I find like a fucking chatter spleen printer or something, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they'll help out a little bit. I think they get better. What is it? They get better with what? Holy shit. That's like white on white. Gain power with more allies. Mm, I don't have that many allies. If I had a queen's gland, maybe, but even then I would just, I, I just don't like, like this shit at all. Maybe for like engineer, this is good. Maybe these guys get like really fucking good. The more, uh, like the more turrets you have. But right now they're not looking too strong. I'm gonna be honest with you. Mm, I'm gonna look around a little bit more, see if I can't find like one more item. Maybe a multi shop down here. Uh, whatever. I think I just need to leave. I already spent a really long time on the stage. We did pretty well against that double mountain though. The problem is we just have nothing to heal with. I need like I need a scythe. I need a scythe, honestly. We have a good amount of mobility with the double the double quail. Maybe even a bit too much, because I'm going to not be able to control myself. Just be jumping around all over the fucking place. There's a fucking clover here. For some green items, do I go for a clover? Eh, whatever, why not. Oh, it didn't even take my ATG, and I still have another Runeld's band. I think that's worth it. I think that was, I think that was definitely worth it. For a clover, and we still have, like, uh, we still have our crit. We still have, like, fucking... What did it really take? It took like a gore's tome and shit. <laughs> that wasn't really that good. I wonder if you have green scrap, if it takes the green scrap first. I think it, it used to. It, it used to work so well that it would only take the green scrap and nothing else. Even if you had like one. So you could like glitch the fuck out of it. So, I don't know. I mean, it's not really fucking... Clover's not really going to help me with healing, but it'll help me with like everything else basically. What's that up there? Medkit printer. Honestly, I think I'm. I'm honestly questioning going for that. Why not? I need something. Yeah, we're gonna be proccing ATGs all the time. Oh, we're gonna be proccing bleeds like constantly. Oh, I need some more tri tips then. Yeah, because we can get really good bleed stacks. The problem is I like reload super slowly, super fucking slowly. So I'm not gonna be able to like really hit too many bleeds. Maybe I think unless ATGs proc bleeds. If ATGs proc bleeds, we'll be in. We'll be in business. Well, now I'm killing enemies a little bit too fast. <laughs> I need some fucking time. Also, there's like only chance shrines over here for some reason. There's a second one? Alright, if there's a scrapper, I can scrap some shit into medkits. I think that's what I I'm gonna probably have to do. To be entirely honest with you. Because I have just no other healing. And I have like two medkits already. We get a little bit more. Should be a little bit more. Should be a good amount of, of health. Whenever I take damage, I'll get some more back. If we get Planula, that would be really good too. I did hit the mountain here, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Fucking three fireworks, okay. I don't know I don't know how the fuck I got into this situation, but triple fireworks. Another tougher times, nice. Tougher, tougher times isn't uh isn't affected by fifty seven leaf clover. Four fucking fireworks, okay. Gorag's opus. Honestly not too bad since we have uh the probe. But not really that good either. <laughs> I mean I can just go into frenzy mode by myself. Which is fine. Oh, there's a large chest over there. Alright, two grandparents. Here we go. Solid. 
Solid, solid, solid. We should do pretty decently well against them. Unless I get set on fire constantly. Can I get away from this? I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> Probably gonna, yeah, it's gonna be like a full map. Full map clear right there. I could have waited and have him kill a little bit more of these random enemies, but... Whatever, I'm really just looking for Planula here. We fought two of these guys, so we're gonna get two chances for Planula. Hopefully we hit that. Hopefully that was not his front right there. He kind of turned around and I hit his shoulder. But hopefully that should still be his side. Jesus Christ, something just tanked my HP. I don't think we got it. Yeah, we did not get it. We did get two Will-O-Wisps, though, which is pretty cool. Oh, can my probes die? They're getting pretty low on HP. There, we need to... We can start some chain reactions here with this shit, though. We can start some... We can start a few proc chains with the Clover and the Will-O-Wisps. This is going to be pretty solid. Yeah, pretty fucking solid. Yeah, so far these these <laughs> these probes don't really look like they're doing too much, but they are taking the aggro off of me, which is pretty good. Pretty fucking solid, if I do say so myself. The thing is, I keep on mistaking them for enemies. They have, like... They need to be, like, really brightly colored, like the Beetle Guard. I think they did a pretty good job with that. They made the, the new Beetle Guard looks like... They updated the lighting on him. He looks much different from a normal Beetle Guard. You can clearly tell he's not the, uh... The same one. He's not an enemy. Or I think they updated the, the lighting on all the beetle guards too. But he looks he looks different. You can tell. But honestly, frost relic is pretty cool because like it gives you this like zoomed out look, so you can like see all the shit. You can see all the shit behind you, which is pretty good. I think that's probably like the best thing about frost relic, and it has been helping with the AOE a little bit. I can't shit on it too much because it is actually helping quite a bit. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and grab like all the items here. We'll see what we can't get. I have an insane amount of mobility now. Oh, dude, and that was time with the music? That was sick. So many fucking chance runs for no reason. And there's a scrapper, okay. That's pretty good, actually. Double ATG is really good, too. That's really good, too. If there was some better scrap, if there was some better printers on the stage, this would be very good, but having a medkit printer might be all I need. Just get rid of literally all of these fireworks. All four of them. <laughs> Get rid of literally all of them. There we go. And let me go over here. Okay. That just didn't want to pick me up for some reason. For whatever reason. And I'm just going to print all of them into med kits. Rusty key. We could get a rusty key from the uh, from the Mythric stage. So I'm not really too worried about that. I'm not too really worried about uh, printing that. There we go. We're going to get up to like... Oh, this is going to be terrible for Mythrix if he has this item. But thankfully you get like all of your items back pretty fast. So I don't have to worry about like specifically negating Mythrix's abilities. Because before that was like a serious problem. Especially since like the whole strat back then was like killing Mythrix before he even... Because you could like charge up a... If you were like loader or some shit, you could charge up a punch and hit him or like get ready to hit him as like he took all of your items and the second he became vulnerable you like still had all the damage in that one attack and you could fuck him up and like kill him in one hit that's what i tried to do from the beginning it wasn't the most consistent thing but it, it worked out a decent amount of the time i believe i want to the problem with this mobility is that i kind of want to be on the ground a little bit more a little bit more often than not but i'm going up in the air constantly <laughs> because of the quail and the low gravity Plus, I need to activate this for, like, double movement speed buff. We're going pretty fast. We're going pretty fast. Not in terms of time. This run is actually pretty slow. I mean, we took our we took our sweet time, but we were, we still did pretty well, I would say. I think we took our time for a reason. Let's see. How much damage we can, can we do to that guy? <laughs> okay. How did I miss that? How the fuck did I miss that? Not too much off of one hit. All right, we should do a good amount of damage. We should hopefully bleed pretty decently often, but we only have one, which is the problem. Oh yeah, I forgot I needed to hit that. There we go. We need to stack Desperados for the boss. That's the play here. It's unfortunately really difficult to do that, though. Um, There's one over here. Why not? These ones are actually the most dangerous, I feel. But I fucking somehow always get over here, and I always go for them every time. God damn, these guys are fucking built. Those guys are really fucking strong. Like, th that shield health, any enemy with shield health is, in is incredibly strong on this stage for some reason. They're, they're the fucking rare spawns. They're the elite mobs. 
Yeah, you have to stay in this little fucking area and then they spawn all these little fucking small things to come after you. And whenever you kill one, you're gonna kill them like when they're inside of you. And then they're gonna like fucking shrink this area that you can spawn in. Also the teleporter radius is smaller here because we're on Eclipse. It's just terrible. I don't know why I always come over to this one first. <laughs> it's really it's really just fucking abysmal. Because like it, it would drop that right there and then like I have like literally no space here. Wait, it's literally, there's, what the fuck, it's basically just, it's basically literally just that little fucking pedestal thing, and that's it. Nothing else. Nothing else, nothing more. There we go. Two stacks, I'll take it. I think I'll clean these guys up for like one or two more stacks. Uh, maybe not, we don't need too many stacks here actually. Because last time I did this, I got like fucking 20 or 17 stacks before we even got to Mythrix. So I don't think it's really too big of a deal. If we don't get like an absurd amount. There is two shrines of blood here. So I don't know how this is going to go. We should be able to do this pretty fast. These shrines of blood are, are very fast. But they're really dangerous because they drain the fuck out of your HP. I feel like these are balanced pretty well. Let's see. Well medkit. I can like walk out a little bit. Get the medkit hit. Or maybe, maybe the medkit is just always hitting. Yeah, and then there's the daisy in there too. Yeah, it just depends on your healing here. If you have a bunch of healing through like alternate methods like Planula, then uh, you can you can just heal constantly with these and these are just free pillars. These are probably the best pillars to do. Jesus Christ, the fucking teleporter shrink size is really the worst just for the pillars and nothing else. Most of the other shit in this stage, or most of the other monsoon shit, or that, that's usually like the, the easiest part of the monsoon shit. But it's actually pretty bad for this new Mythrix, new Mythrix area. I think they balanced that pretty, pretty uniquely. Uh, I can hit this guy up a little bit, and then I can grab him right there. There we go. I'll go for one of these vortex ones. This is usually the the orientation I take. I try to do a soul one, and then I try to do a blood one if there are any available. Oh my god. Okay. If I was on higher monsoon difficulty or eclipse difficulty, that would be that would literally be. That would be risking my entire life right there for that one thing. Oh, Jesus Christ, these are so fucking small. All this is not what I should have done, like, at all. Can I swap to a different fucking pillar? This one is terrible. I think we just gotta see it through, unfortunately. <laughs> Fuck, this thing is terrible. It just pushes me out immediately. I get, like, 1% in. I'm trying to fight it. I get literally 1% each time. There's a rock there. And sometimes you like miss it when it's not even like fighting you. There we go. I'm close. I'm close to fucking. I'm close to getting a, a bunch of stacks right here. Aw, oh, that guy's gonna die regardless. Grab you. I need to get behind here. Oh, just like get me in that little fucking corner. Oh, holy shit. Okay. Fucking toggled render distance zero. Just let me in. Let me in the fucking zone! Oh, I got 3% that time. Just let me get into like that little back area there. That's all I want. Literally all I want. Well, maybe not now, because now there's a bunch of these fucking things here. They basically want to die. These things want to suicide bomb and get like... Look at that. Look at that shit. Look at that area effect compared to like what I have to deal with here. Let me in this fucking zone! Oh, thank you. Thank you. This fucking... What are you? The Delighted Probe? Bro, shout out. Okay, well you're not really helping out too much now. Jesus Christ, this is terrible. Oh my lord. Oh, and you go too fast and then you go over it. Alright, can I get in like there? Nope. Jesus Christ, it's like the faster you are, the faster it pushes you out. Please just let me get in that little... Okay, whatever. I'm going to have to do this as slow as possible apparently. That there's like a set there's like a G spot that you hit in that corner there that just fucking forces you to not exist. It just removes all the geometry in the stage. Like right here? There you go. Fuck dude. It's, it works sometimes where like you don't immediately fucking fly off and other times you do. See that one was pretty good. There we go. Holy shit, that was like the longest that has ever taken. I've never been in a fucking Never had to deal with one of those before. That actually sucked that much penis. 
I was terrible. That was really fucking bad. But we got it done. We got it done. That's all that matters. I am still looking out for that rusty chest. Uh, that rusty lock box. Normally it was like around the center area. Or at least it was last time I was here. Uh, but can't seem to find it. It glows a little bit and that's like it. That's like all that you can really understand to help you there. Other than that, you're on your own. Not really much else for that. Now, I don't want to use my shift here. I could shift to get onto this, but if I do, then it's going to pop and stop me like midway through the air. And on the higher monsoon difficulties, that's literally an insta-kill. But I think we, if we're going to win, we're probably going to win just because of Clover. If we had more bleed, this would be better. But I think the bleeds aren't really too good with Mythrix because he can reset bleeds by jumping back to the middle. So he's not really absurdly, uh, absurdly good with that shit. Holy shit, I forgot how fast I can be. Wow, even like with all that fucking attack speed, damn, you, you really just barely ever crit. Or you really barely ever bleed, even with one... Even with one dagger and a clover, you're like, rarely ever bleeding. Do these guys just not want to fight this guy? <laughs> they just, they're just scared of Mithrix, they don't ever want to attack. There we go, he attacked like once. That was a pretty solid fucking Reynolds Band ATG right there. And we have a higher ATG damage. I don't know how we're gonna... <laughs> if we're gonna win, it's gonna be miraculous. It's gonna be because of a tougher time and a medkit. That's like my whole... That's my whole healing setup. Tougher times and medkits. Unbelievable. There we go. See? I'll take the damage, then it'll heal it back. With the fucking six medkits and the six tougher times. What a weird... What a weird run we've got on our hands here. But, hey... Not the worst. Not the worst run I've had. Pretty good. Pretty good with the Clover, too. I'd say this run is actually pretty damn solid. It's a little bit unorthodox, but it's solid. You know, it would be boring if every if every run was the same, you know? It would be very boring if every run was the same. We really just have to avoid that in the final phase. We can afford to get to take damage by that, because we're mostly, mostly always full health, but final phase, he'll have those, like, little things that drop down below it and fuck you up from the, uh, Fuck you up afterwards, basically. I'll pop this here. I'll pop the Opus. It has a pretty small, pretty short cooldown, so I can get away with uh, the blowing off a few of them. We need to deal with these guys in the sky first. Those are usually the ones you want to go for at the beginning. We do a good amount of damage here. Ooh, really good amount of damage. There we go. We can try to snatch a few extra Desperado stacks here. That's probably what I should be using these guys for. It's basically only for Desperado stacks. Hope that doesn't kill him. I did. Okay. Damn. Stronger than I thought sometimes. When I need to be strong, I'm not. And when I fucking don't need to be, and I need to get like as little damage on him as possible, then I've, of course, I'm gonna fucking pop off. We don't need too many stacks here, you know. But I mean, better to have more than, rather than less. Oh my god. Thank God I have medkit to just heal me back up whenever. Whenever I get low. Otherwise, I'd be in a much worse position. And tougher times is basically going to be there for my fucking... My Hail Mary. If I fuck up heavily, and I'm going to take damage by something that's literally going to kill me in one shot. At least uh, tougher times has a chance of saving me there. Damn. I got fucked. Alright, we'll see what we can do here. Frost Relic might help out with the little, uh, little small fucking Chimera things. The rolling, the rolling ones might help to keep them off of me. We don't want to be in the air too much, if at all. Oh my god, okay. Jesus Christ. I mean, it, we're going to have to go in the air eventually, though, at, at certain points in time. But if we're in the air, he can do his thing. He can do his fucking minigame bullshit where you have to have to try and avoid it. Have to try and avoid, like, where he's at. There we go. Yeah, that thing. But if we're in the air, we have, like, no control over our, our mobility. We can still attack while we're in this game. But it's better just to try and survive. We can get a, a plenty of damage on him afterwards. But if we fuck up there, we literally just die. We're just done. So, ooh, fucking back to backsies. As long as we don't get too fucked up right after another, like one right after another, and we get a little bit lucky with the tougher times, then we'll be we'll be fine. Because we can get the medkit health. Oh, okay, this is really bad. Ooh, okay, this is really fucking bad. We need these guys to get out of here, too. Fucking offering aerial support. Uh, do I have anything else to give me healing, really? Not really. We need, like, a fucking rejuve rack or something. I think it's mainly just that one Neural that I got that's, like, fucking carrying this whole thing. 
There's the second one. This is probably going to be the last one that he does. If I were to guess. Probably going to be the last one he gets to do. There we go. Pretty, yeah, pretty much good now. We just need to knock at one shot, which is easier said than done. Yeah, he shouldn't go into another one. He might jump here. Nope, he's just gone. Okay, thanks for those leaves too. All right, we should we basically win at this point. We just need to not <laughs> we just need to not fuck up too heavily. I can opus for a bit more like mobility and shit here, and then I think that's about it. Oh, okay, we're gonna oh we got most of our good items back right there. Got a little bit of our mobility too. Yeah, I should just one shot him there with that Reynolds band. One more and we should be good. There we go. There we go. Pretty solid. We shouldn't uh, we shouldn't fail now. This took a little bit longer. This is probably like my slowest run. I normally go a lot faster than this. But I, I took my fucking sweet time with this one. I wonder if these closest ones take you. Yeah, these closest ones take you the farthest away. So I need to remember to not take those. It's better to walk a little bit when you're up there than to have to walk a long fucking distance when you're all the way down here. But yeah, this I I took my sweet ass time with like the first couple stages. I went like over five minutes, which is basically unheard of. I usually try to stay like under like three or four minutes. Usually, usually around three minutes. Three minutes, like three twenty, three thirty, three forty is usually about the time I'm leaving each stage. But I mean, I saw a lot of items, which is usually pretty rare. Normally, you don't get like fucking any items, so I needed to take them when I did, and thank God I did. Got plenty of got plenty of plenty of sauce. Oh my god, look at how fucking small this is. Okay, the teleporter radius monsoon thing actually is crazy. Or eclipse thing, I keep saying monsoon. The eclipse the eclipse upgrade where, or the eclipse debuff where it shrinks the teleporter size used to be like literally nothing, but now it's actually fucking makes a world of difference. This is fucking insane. Only for the Mythric stage. This makes everything so much fucking harder. Like 300 times harder. Because of uh, all the things at the the pillars, the pillars are really the main difficult part, and this is just fucking super annoying. It's not really too bad, but we could technically get fucked up by these. If you get hit by three of those, you can see there's like, oh, well, I don't have one right now because I didn't get hit. But uh, if you do, you start stacking something, and then it locks you in place. And if you step into that, you die. If you step into that little thing right there, it just insta kills you. One hit KO. So, having all these guys get really clumped up here is kind of a recipe for disaster. But thankfully we don't have to deal with that. Oh, I saw my Lunar Coins update in real time. Uh, what does this say? I actually forgot. What does it say when you beat the game as a uh, as bandit? I wasn't paying attention the first time I beat the game. Actually, I think I might have been dead. I think I might have did that on multiplayer. And I, I died when that happened, but... I guess we're about to find out. We are about to find out. Fucking planet exploding. Or the void and shit. Did it used to do this? I don't think it used to. Maybe it did. I feel like they changed. They had to have changed that a little bit. Because the rescue ship changed positions. I feel like all the ending shit. Like they made the whole ending a lot better. Before it was like bit shit. But now it's pretty fucking difficult. It feels like a proper, a proper ending. Left, grateful for his luck. Alright, I guess that's it. Makes a little bit of sense. Makes a little bit of makes a little bit of sense. Now I'm gonna do the obligatory back to backsies. See if we can see if we can go back to back. Okay, now that's three. Holy shit, I thought that was five. No, five is movement speed, maybe. So now if we fall off, you know what? <laughs> it's probably gonna happen. This is if there's a if I were to guess a way for how this run is going to end. I would probably guess it's going to be because of the fall damage. <laughs> back to back sees whenever I do a back to back after after just winning an eclipse, I usually don't win again. <laughs> I usually I usually do not win again. I say usually because there's still hope. But it's just not it's not it's not promising, okay? Yeah, you're done. These stone things really don't like to hide their backside. They don't like to hide their uh, their weak spot. Probably because they weren't programmed to constantly hide them, their back spot. Some characters are. Like, the probe always tries to look at you because that's how it attacks. Um, I'll grab these. I don't think, um... I don't think Soldier's Syringe is incredibly helpful on Bandit. It helps you reload faster. But Bandit is kind of just fucked with his normal mouse one. Like, it could be like... It could be like Captain's mouse one. And be like really, 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 really essential and really, really key to his, uh, to his kit. 
but it kind of sucks cock so it's not <laughs> if it was like just a, a little bit better or maybe like if it scaled just a little bit better with um with syringes then it might be it might be able to be like pretty pretty damn solid but unfortunately it doesn't so it's kind of shit <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely fucking essential because it's his mouse one. But it could be so much better. It could be so much fucking better. There was a large chest down there. Don't you think I missed that? I don't miss that shit. However, I do not have enough money for it. Um, I think the teleport is up here probably. It's either that or it's behind one of those fucking pillars. In some fucking... Yeah, there we go. In some weird location. There we go. We are going to get to 10. 10 is about like where I want to be. With the Desperado stacks by the time we hit the boss. Ooh, the 1% HP. Guaranteed he had like actually one point of health. That was cutting it pretty fucking close. Maybe not picking up. Maybe I don't think I should pick up as many large chests. I mean, the, the possibility of a red item is pretty good, but I don't know if it's worth it. Okay, double Titan. Not the worst we could have gotten, especially not on the first stage. Definitely not the worst. We just got to be prepared to run for the fucking hills at some point in time. Or at every point in time. Okay. I think that was a crit. These guys don't hide their, their backs as much. So this is why I say it's not really too bad. As you can see, I can just get basically full crits on him. Probably going to kill him very fast here. Yeah, there we go. Not too bad at all. Alright. Predatory instincts and a neural. Very good. Very, very good. Maybe this run is going to succeed. I'd be very surprised if it did. But, hey, I want it to. I mean, I want to... I want to get through this Eclipse shit as fast as possible. But Neural, pretty pretty much saved the entire last run. Neural together with medkits and, uh, and those tougher times, but... If it wasn't for the Neural, we wouldn't have had like any healing when, uh, when we weren't taking damage. Because you need to take damage in the first place to get fucked, and if you're in a, caught in a bad spot, you're kind of just... Kind of just nothing you can do about it. There we go. We need you to come over here. I don't think this guy's going to want to be close. He's probably going to want to pathfind like all the way over to me. But I want to keep him. Yeah, you see. He went over there and he was like, no, nope, I'm not going to be able to cross that. So I'm going to go ahead and try to walk across the entire fucking map to get to you. And they will. They will. They can. They fucking absolutely can and will. It'll just take forever. And I need that money. I need that money right now. Is that a chest? No. Nope. It's a gunner drone. I don't know how the fuck I ping that. On some fucking sharpshooter shit with my pings. See, we can easily stack 21 stacks of Desperado. Not like I really fucking need it, but I can. <laughs> oh, I forgot how slow I am. Jesus Christ. After you come off a run where you're really, really fast, it's like... It's sobering. It's sobering to go all the way back down to, like, this fucking slow of a speed. I think I remember seeing, like, one or two chests over there. I know there's a large chest right here. Is there a random here? These are all stun grenades. I kind of don't want to pick up stun grenade, but if I have nothing else, you know, it's better than nothing. Okay, Reynolds banned. We're getting a little bit of a repeat of last run. Scrapper. Okay. I initially gives me gives me an opportunity here. I'm going to take this though. I don't have to wait as long. I think we we don't have to rush as much. Now that I know that I can take a little bit longer on each stage, I shouldn't I shouldn't try to rush constantly. It's good to go faster rather than slower, but I shouldn't I shouldn't need to rush as much as I normally do. We can take our sweet fucking time. As long as we get a good run, we'll be good. You just gotta bank on your run being good enough. Cause you're really never gonna outpace the difficulty. Like, if you go to once you get to like the final area, the difficulty spikes so much that it's like double your level at every point in time. So you're really not gonna be able to outpace that shit. So it's better just to Better just to get your items here and there. That's already opened. Yeah. I think we just dip out here. Can't really find too much other shit. I don't want the difficulty to go too high. We got a good amount of items. Especially because of that mountain. There's almost certainly a few more chests around here. But I can't find them. And I don't want to waste all my time. That's a barrel over there. I don't want to waste all my time. We are probably still going to get really fucked by the difficulty in the next stage. Almost certainly. Yeah, almost certainly. We're going to have to... Pretty sure chests are going to be $60 in the next stage. Fuck. Well, not much I can really do about that. It's just how the cookie crumbles. How the fucking cookie crumbles. Let's see. Well, that's a big chest, so there's not really a reason to be checking that one. But one of these normal chests is probably going to be 60 
That's rolling. And I spawned that on a hill. Mm, can I? Oh, I can. Nice. Just amount. Just the right amount. We don't have any like just straight damage upgrades. Let's see. Sixty. Yep. Sixty. Big. Big sixty. We got. I mean, hey, we had that happen last run and we did fine. But I would like to not put myself through that. You know. If if possible, would like to not have to go through that again. But it looks like we're looks like that's how it's gonna happen. Aqueduct is an interesting stage because you basically always want to go the opposite way of where you spawn. I'm just gonna kill you with that. I'm just gonna waste my uh, my Reynolds ban on that. Grab a quick stack on you. I think I might have been a chest back there too. Other than that utility one. But you basically always want to go the opposite way because the teleport is always in the opposite way than where you spawn. And it's actually better because normally there's a good amount of items on the opposite way of where you spawn. So, oh, he just employed evasive maneuvers. Honestly, I respect your fucking contribution to the overall, to the overall fucking, the overall planet trying to kill me. I mean, it, I mean, if you're a fucking beetle, you might as well, might as well just sacrifice yourself for, for one less stack of Desperado. Why not? I mean, if you can, if you can avoid it, might as well, might as well do your fellow fucking, your fellow monsters a, a, a little bit of a, what the fuck am I talking about? Give him a something. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm thinking like a weird word. Might as well give them like something. Fuck, I, I can't think of the word, but you get it. There's a wisp printer over there. There's another titan? Hey, my lucky day. If we get another neural, honestly, it wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, I was wondering why these guys always spawn outside of the fucking zone. It's because the zone shrunk like 300%. <laughs> I was really fucking confused before. I was like, why are, Why is everything always outside of the fucking zone? But it's because we're playing fucking Eclipse. So, thankfully we can't fall down in this map. Or we can, but if I do, then I'm a complete fucking idiot. Like, I would have to be a complete fucking bonehead to fucking fall off the map here. But I'll be, I'll be good. There's no giant holes that I need to be going towards. The, the teleport didn't even spawn on the whole side. But if I were to go, if I were to be in the, in the fucking hole side or near a hole, I would be fucking, I'd be sweating bullets, okay? A pit is literally insta death. Before, it's like you fall off a pit, you're kind of fucked, but for the most part, you're fine. Unless you're already in a shit situation, you fall off. Just so you can't, like, consistently fall off and, like, avoid enemies like that, I guess. But with fucking Eclipse shit, no. You fall off a pit, you're done. It's over. Literally fucking over. Uh, unless you're loader, because loader just doesn't have anything like that affecting, for some reason. Let's just create one character that we're just going to continuously buff every single patch, and then let's just create one character that we're going to nerf every patch. That's how they made. <laughs> that's just the fucking design philosophy for multi, and uh, and loader, in that order, of course. Um, mm, there could be some behind here. Could be a little bit of sauce behind this. Eh, honestly, not too bad. If there's a if there's a chance run, we can get a little bit of extra shit. We can waste a bit of extra money, and if we don't find too much, we could just leave with a bit of extra XP. Damn, am I really not gonna find like anything over here? Okay, there we go. Big chest. We have plenty of we have plenty of shit right now. We have plenty of money, so I do wanna I do want big chests. I want big big monies. Another renal's bend. Okay, pretty much a repeat of last run. <laughs> Getting up there, except for like the copious amounts of items we had. Another damage chest. We could go all the way for the utility. Yeah, I think we do. Will the wisp? Not bad, not bad. Gonna help out quite a bit before we get to Mythrix. And it'll actually help out a little bit when we get to Mythrix because we can do the, uh, the little rolling things, the, lo the rolling chimeras. Those things can get fucked up by the, uh, by the wisps if they're all grouped up. That's pretty good. We could really just have a repeat of last run if we went for that, or if there was a scrapper here. But, nah. I think there might be guaranteed to be a, a rusty chest or a rusty lockbox on the stage, but I haven't found it. Maybe it's just a chance for it to spawn. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. Healing chest. I'll take that. Monster Tooth. I mean, anything counts. Anything counts. Monster, monster Tooth isn't really too good, but it's whatever. Chrono Bubble. <laughs> All right, I mean it's something. It's something. It's not the best. Sure as hell isn't the best, but it's something. 
Chrono Bottle honestly does help out a little bit, especially against Mithrix. You can actually like hit him and then have it be good. We didn't. We did get an equipment last time. We had a Gorax Opus. Oh, now we have a Forgive Me Please. Um, Forgive Me Please. Honestly, not too bad because purely because we have a uh, Will O Wisp. Bro, you probably thought that shit was pre-recorded right there. <laughs> I was thinking about it. well I don't I wasn't thinking about doing that but like uh sometimes I wonder if like certain certain streams are just pre-recorded you know cuz it'll just go completely it'll go completely like uh off the off the beaten path I wonder if like the audio and the video are like out of sync or maybe like you just record a full well there's not really a point in that you just record a full run and then you commentate over it, it doesn't make any sense unless you're like really shit at commentating and you need like every little fucking bit of help you can get in order to. Jesus Christ. I'm getting so fucking fucked up right now. That's a pretty decent bleed right there. If only I could like hemorrhage much more often, but I like never stack a bunch of. I never stack a bunch of backup mags, and for good reason. Yeah, I think the only th on kill effect I have is just, uh. just Wisp. Which isn't bad. I mean a wisp a wisp effect at will is pretty good. If I had if I had more wisps it would be much better, but hey. Any little bit counts, any little bit counts. You really have to if you want to be good with bandit, you really have to be good with uh utilizing the mouse ones. Like you have to like holy shit, I didn't expect to do that much damage. <laughs> you have to be able to like conserve them at every point in time and make sure all of them hit. I'm gonna do this like basically immediately here. This is like basically every item we had last time. If we get a shadow spin here, I might just fucking might just might just fucking pop a boner. Might just pop a stiffy. If that's the case. Oh, and we got Gore's Tom shit here. Oh my god. Yeah, that's so much fucking damage. Please shadow spin. Ah, uh, unlucky. Leeching seed, not bad. I'll take that. Honestly, it might be a little bit more hype for Leeching Seed. Well, that's a lie. If I got a fucking... It, believe me, if I got a fucking Shatter Splane there, that would have been nuts. I would be I would be popping off. But at the same time, Leeching Seed might be a bit better. Because we really do need... We really do need our healing. These, uh, these Monster Teeth, though, are popping off, though. We have a decent amount of mobility around it, too. Oh, you have to... You have to throw that at an enemy? Oh, no. I think it just... It does just go off on its own. We're getting so much money from the Gore's Tom. Holy shit. I wonder if we I wonder if you get more of that if you have Clover. I think you would. That's why I keep on fucking up the Desperado so much. When you have like when you have uh Pauldron, increases your attack speed, causes you to have it charge up faster. I was not ready for it. I'm used to the very, very slow fucking charge up time. We're snatching wigs out here though. We are snatching fucking wigs. Doing really well. Doing really, really well. We're still going kind of slowly, though, surprisingly enough. It feels like that was really fast, but I guess not. But now we have plenty of money. We have plenty of money. We farmed so much with all those Gores Tomes. We can get a fucking kitted out run here. There's the rusty lockbox. I see that. I see that fucking shimmering over there. There's a lot of fucking things over here, too. Worst item in the game. You love to see it. Actual worst item in the game. We do have some scrap. We do have some scrap. But, okay, another Runal's Ben. I guess we're just going to be the strongest fucking guy in the world. Another Leeching Seed, pretty fucking good. Pretty fucking good. I think we just hit this until we're dry. I have nothing else to do. Why not? Holy shit, really? Okay. <laughs> that was fucking terrible. Goddamn. Maybe we can get a little bit back and then we go in. Um, do we have anything to heal? I'm as close to 75%, right? I think we wait here. Do it. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Okay. Well, we can get a little bit extra now. I think we wait here for this, because this is just too good. Just an extra bit of, uh, of money, which is just gets transmitted into extra XP. The items on that stage, not really too good. Not really incredibly strong. Actually, we can do something crazy here. We can get a bit of a head start on the next stage, which is probably going to be Sundered Grove. But whatever. Fuck. Oh, it worked. It worked the same way. <laughs> Thankfully, that was slow, but it wasn't It wasn't slow enough to matter. Nope, we got Siren's Call again. Holy shit. 
I mean, I'm not complaining, but I'm surprised. We have a really good amount of single target right now. It really just going to come down to uh, how much healing I can I can get away with getting. Because I'm I really have like not too much healing. Now we at least have something with uh with the leeching seeds, but that's like about it. That's like literally all of our healing other than the med kit. Pra praise be the med kit, dude. Med kit on all these runs coming in fucking clutch. There you go, that's done. Didn't even get an extra stack there. Sick. Hit this. What do we get from that? Tougher times? Honestly, not bad. Not fucking bad at all. What is that? Fuel cell? We could do some crazy fuel cell fuckery right now. If I wanted to. We could just go for permatonic. <laughs> uh, if there's a scrapper, I might, I'll consider it. If there's a scrapper, I'll actually consider hitting a new portal. Because that's basically just an insta win. Why not? Sometimes you gotta grease it up. Sometimes you gotta grease it up and go for permatonic. Even though it is kind of boring, it's basically just like, alright, well, give me the win right now. But, hey, sometimes you want to get through this shit. I'm almost certain that I'm probably going to have to rely on Permatonic, like, super fucking often. <laughs> for, uh, for some of the later shit. I'll take that. That'll be decent. I don't know if that was worth my money, but we'll, I guess we're about to fucking find out. Alright, let me peep down here. Okay. Just had to make sure that that wasn't the teleporter spot. Mm, should be like one more thing around here. Altar of gold. All right, interesting. Definitely not going to hit that, but interesting nonetheless. Nevertheless, fuck. I thought that was a fucking chest. What the fuck? They're like throwing jellyfish at me now too. All right, <laughs> resorting to drastic measures. Is there one right there? No. Going through all the spots. Going through all the egg spots necessary. Try and find what I need. Oh my god. I just heard like a fucking gunshot behind me. Pretty sure that was just somebody like closing their garbage can or some shit. <laughs> well, that counted. We have a lot of fucking damage. Oh, there's a hopu feather. Yep, yes sir. Fucking finally. There we go. And there is a scrapper here. Alright. Well, I think I will probably... Here, let me scrap some shit right here first. Um... I'm gonna scrap Tome. What else do I want to scrap? Hmm. I want to scrap more than, rather than less, so I think I'm gonna scrap Stealth Kit. Honestly. Might not be the greatest idea, but something. Then I'm gonna crap I'm gonna scrap that, and then I'm gonna scrap um Pauldron. And that should be it. So we can literally get like with one gesture and one tonic, we'll be good. Again, greasy, absolutely greasy as hell, but whatever it's whatever um mm, he's really far away oh my god why did i take so much damage another hope of feather i'll take it i'll take it i need as much as i can get i'll hit this here because i need extra healing <laughs> i really do ne need extra healing holy shit i might die well actually i have thank god i have leeching seed i'm used to just not having anything at every point in time but now we actually have something. Did I not put another one in there? I misclicked. Oh! Unfortunate. I didn't put it in again? Okay. I'm fumbling it. I'm fumbling the fucking run right now. We can activate a fuck ton of forgive me pleases if we want. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be the play, but it's there as an option. We have nine stacks of Desperado that I've just accumulated subconsciously. There is a nude altar back here. You'll love to see it. I think Permatonic is probably what we're going to be doing this run, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> I think that's probably what's going to what's gonna make this run win, because this run right now isn't really that good. It ain't bad, but it sure as hell ain't good. We have good healing, we have decent damage, decent mobility, but we... That's like really it. <laughs> we don't have too much extra. Our damage is always pretty good if I'm able to maneuver myself pretty well. There we go, we got at least a little bit of a chain reaction right there. At the very least. If not a good one. I might have to hit that Shrine of the Woods here. I think I will. Just to fight. Just to fight on some home turf right here. Fight, fight on some actual... On some sacred grounds. I don't think... That doesn't count as like an Eclipse Teleporter Zone. I would hope not. So I don't think that should be smaller than normal. Oh no. Hopefully it's not stack. Oh, that just fucking kills me. That just fucking kills me. That run had some potential though. Mainly with Permatonic. I should have not been in that fucking area though. But I'll shoot them around. 
See ya.